on my way to get fitted for my, oh, well, get my bike fitted better to me. So I have hip and lower back issues that really took the fun out of riding last year. So I'm hoping that this $150 I'm about to spend <laughs> helps. And if not, or at least in tandem with, I um, made an appointment with a chiropractor next week too. I figure if this is going to be a week off from chemo, I better put it to good use. I have to also admit that I always feel a little uneasy putting myself in a position where a man is going to be looking closely at my body. And that's about to happen. This guy who run, runs this bike shop is going to be measuring me and testing my flexibility. And it occurred to me just a minute ago, like, oh my god, I have one breast. Yeah, that's going to be hard for him to uh, ignore. So, hopefully, um, hopefully, uh, he's at ease with it. Because if he's not, that'll make me more uncomfortable. shop guys <laughs> working on getting dirt out of my cleats so that he can adjust them which makes me nervous because I've spent a lot of time adjusting the cleats on the bottom of my shoes if you're not a road biker you don't know that maybe you don't know that there are you get pedals and shoes special shoes that the shoes actually clip right into the pedals so when you pull up on the pedal you pull you don't have to you can use your strength to pull the pedal up instead of just um, using your strength to push down. So, when you learn how to use those pedals, it's very disconcerting. There are times when you want to quickly put your foot down on the ground and, and you're, you do it sort of instinctually and you forget you have to try to clip out of the pedal, which requires a little effort. So, one of the rites of passage is falling like a domino on the side of the road which I have done my share of. This is the first time I've truly vlogged in public. But no one's seen me do it yet, so I don't look like a crazy person to anybody. And I have to get changed into my regular clothes, but I, I have to record this moment. So every year for like the past eight years, I've had the same. Um, I'm embarrassed if anyone can hear me. I'm like a woman alone in the dressing room talking to myself. But anyway, for the last like eight years, I had the same New Year's resolution, and that was to give every compliment I think of. Sometimes it feels really embarrassing, but I wanted to tell the guy who just did my bike fitting that, um, you know, I've been nervous about it because I just had the surgery like a couple months ago, and I was nervous about it being awkward for him and for me, and um, I told him that during the process I forgot, and that was my compliment to him. super warm out. I'm leaving the gym. This is the first, this is real public vlogging now. I'm doing it. And uh, this is the first time I've been outside. It's so warm. I'm overdressed. I actually kind of want to take my hat off, but <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm less embarrassed than people think I'm crazy talking to this camera than I am about my baldness. That's weird. I should get over that. I will.
Alright, I turn on this camera right now because I am <laughs> I'm going to make a confession right into the mirror. Today, Friday, March 18th? Um, the day that I was supposed to be getting chemo, but I'm not because of neuropathy, in other words, uh, sensitivity in my fingers, over, overly so. I, Amy, am possibly overdoing it. <laughs> I rode my bike this morning, I mean, no, I mean, I meant to say, I swam this morning, I cut it short, I had to sort of force myself to stop at 1500 yards because I knew I wanted to ride my bike today. I walked the dog in the woods with a friend at a pretty quick pace and I started to wear out. And if it wasn't for the fact that my plan to ride my bicycle by myself, I was going to go to the food co-op and get another vitamin that I need. Um, if it wasn't for the fact um, that I got an email inviting me to join some other friends for a ride, I, I actually might not be riding at all today. But I did get that email and I do want to ride with those friends. And in the, spite of the fact that I'm a little tired and uh, some of that eye, sort of sear, sort of dry eye, pain in my sinuses kind of um, stuff has been resurfacing um, today. And like my body is saying, you know, this would be a good time to sort of just rest. Um, no, it's like 70 degrees out. It hasn't been this warm yet this year, and I'm going for a bike ride. I will cut it short as need be, but um, and I'll sleep in tomorrow, Saturday. But yes, I'm going. And I'll let you know how it goes. Because just because I feel a little tired doesn't mean that I can't handle it. But, um, but who knows? Goodbye. Hello? Hey. Yeah, I went on the ride. I just got back to the car. Yep. I'm tired. It's almost six o'clock. I need some dinner. I need to change my clothes first though. I need some rest and some food. That's about it. Well, if I didn't overdo it on the bike yesterday, I overdid it running today. I didn't run that much, but I was my energy was low to begin with. I think mentally I thought I, I was prepared to feel great this week. Because I have a week off from chemo, but I really don't. It makes me sort of more I don't know, in awe of chemo, but that sounds too positive. <laughs> it makes me more I guess worried about the long-term effects of chemo that um, I feel as bad as I do. But my fingers are improving and I'm on every recommended supplement at this point. I'm being very vigilant about it. Can you hear Millie? She wants to go for a walk. Come here. Come here, Millie. Millie. She doesn't care about me. I'm not up in my shoes. Hey, Hiya. It's going to be okay. He is going to take you. <laughs> Sorry, if I wasn't so lady, lazy uh, right now, I would get up and show you the action. But I'll, t I'll describe it because I, can, I can't picture it, but I can... Imagine. 
Jim is sitting on the bench, tying up his, lacing up his boots, and Millie is standing nearby, wagging her tail and worrying that she's not going to be invited. Thank you. I need to make that noise go away. Okay. All right, bye. Bye. I miss you already. I wish I was up for coming. It seems like a nice afternoon. Where? Yeah.